What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Frankie Hard Work. And, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe. And, you know, share this as well. But, yeah, this is another one of my uh, topics, one of my random informative topics. And uh, this is about, a, you know, I'm from the state of New Jersey, and um, I definitely see a lot of changes in New Jersey. I see a lot of things going on, but it's a law that's about to get enacted within the next hour or so. You probably, probably by the time you hear this, you won't know, but in, in, it's going to be a law that uh, that they're putting in, I think it's um, what, August 1st? Yeah, August 1st. So the law is pretty much called a, a right to die bill. So this right to die bill is pretty much whereas if a person have a terminal illness, I guess, and uh, they can go to a doctor and can prescribe some type of powerful substance, some type of powerful medicine, and be able to take it home and administer medicine itself on their own terms, which will cause some type of uh, no pain, but officially they end up dying. So when I seen that this, because I never, I, 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 I didn't know that they was going to do this in Jersey. It just start watching. I seen it on the news, and it came out of nowhere. So. It got me thinking, and I know it's about to get you thinking too. Some years back, it was a guy named Dr. Kevorkian. I know a lot of people remember him. It was a guy named Dr. Kevorkian. And he pretty much used to do the exact same thing. The exact same thing. And um, it was frowned upon. It pretty much was frowned upon. And he actually did time over it. He actually did time over it because they said he insist he assisted in a hundred and thirty deaths tip from terminally terminal ill patients. So that got me thinking like how they had this guy do eight to ten years. He was an old dude too. They had him do eight to ten years and then turn around in the state of New Jersey, come up with the same thing, which is legal. That kind of bugged me out a little bit, you know. But that wasn't even a question. I wanted to know how did you feel about this because, I mean, this is a touchy subject. I'm not trying to, you know, depress nobody and things of that nature. Yeah, but um, I wonder how you feel about it because do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? Because let's think about it. You got people out here that's uh, terminally ill, sick, probably, you know, Going through it, taking a bunch of medicine, um, you know, looking, feeling horrible, looking horrible, you know, um, feel, they they may feel like they putting a burden on their family, and you know they just ready to go. And without that pill, that's, I mean, without this, um, you know, medicine, whatever it is that they that they coming out with, they would just have to pretty much go through the rest of their life suffering. And I was watching. Um, the news, and I seen a lady talking about it. She was pretty much saying about how, you know, people can leave on their own terms. And when you think about it, I mean, it sounds like you know, a person wanna, a person do, you know, it, it pretty much sounds controversial. But then you gotta think about the person that's going through it, right? They the one that's going through the pain. They the one that's feeling it. They the one that's ready to go. But then you got it on another term, whereas a lot of people looking at it as that's not, um, you know what I mean? That's against God will. The, um, you know, that's against God will. Whatever happens, this is designed for, the God designed this for this to happen and and, or, and for you to actually take your own life because that's what they're looking at it as. And this is what they looked at it as back in the day. They're looking at it as people was committing suicide, but the doctor was actually murdering them. It sounds crazy, right? Yeah, if that makes any sense. But they, you know, you got people that's um, um, very spiritual and very into Christ and everything. You know, very into the uh, religion, and they feel like you know it's morally wrong. You're committing suicide, and how is that? How can you? How can you basically make a decision that God that God's supposed to make? So you're playing God pretty much. But then on the other hand, when you think about it, right?
Like, it's, it's like a touchy subject. Because think about it. You're not the actual person that's going through it. They're going through the pain and going through that. And I wonder, I wonder also, too, do it have something to do with, like, um, like with the handy, with, like, people that's paralyzed, like, paraplegics. Because back in the day, there was a lot of people, a lot of people felt that way, too, about being paraplegic. And they can't do anything, they were just ready to go. So I wonder if that if that if paraplegics fall under that same umbrella, but you know, um, I mean it's a it's a it's a touchy a topic, it's a touchy situation, but I just, it was something I wanted to speak on because I want to know like how do you feel about this? Do you feel like this is morally wrong? Do you feel like this is wrong because you know, like I said, it's supposed to be God's will, and your and the person is playing God. Or on the other hand, do you think like this is something that's, you know, that can be effective because, you know, at the same time, people who who wants to suffer, you know, a lot of people want to live life suffering. You know what I mean? They'd rather be dead than to suffer. And, and sometimes they feel like they cause burden on their families and stuff like that. So I wonder, and I wonder what's going to be like, because it's going to be crazy, you know, and it's, it's a lot going on in Jersey right now. A lot of, a lot of things that I'm seeing, like, to, to 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 go to another subject, they they just came up with bulletproof book bags, right? Bulletproof book bags. There's a company called um, Guard Dog, or something like that. And I remember that company. If I'm not mistaken, that company in New Jersey is a company that you know go to different houses with dogs, security dogs. You know they place them in there, and you know they watch the house. I don't know. I could be wrong, but anyway. They got bulletproof book bags. And I thought about that. Like, what what is it coming to now? Whereas they're making bulletproof book bags. Like, that's crazy. And it, and, it, and it's happening in New Jersey. Like like I said, where I'm from, I'm from Jersey. Like, it, it's a lot going on right now. And this world, this world is becoming like, I don't know, it's coming too like, super progressive, like, a lot of things that's going on now, like, I never thought I'd see. Like I said, when they was talking about the one, when, they, when the Dr. Kevorkian thing used to happen, they, that was frowned upon. They called him the suicide doctor or the death doctor, so I want to know how you feel about this. It was just, you know, something I, that crossed my mind that, um, you know, I wanted to hear your opinion on. So, it's your boy Frankie Hard Work. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me, let me know how you feel about this. I know it's a gloomy topic, but it's a topic. Be easy.